In this video, I'm going to go over one possibility as to why your Briggs & Stratton EX series engine doesn't want to start. That is the choke thermostat. I'm going to make it real easy for you. I'm even going to show you a demonstration with heat of how these things actually work. Okay? This is Rudy from Take a Bath Productions with another video showing you how to fix various things. If you're a subscribed member to my community, then welcome back. If you're new to this channel, consider clicking that subscribe button below and please like this video if it was helpful for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so just remember now this is one possibility. Uh, what you need to do first is take these three bolts out to get this out of the way. Those have 516 socket heads on them. All right. And then look for this little device right here. This is your auto choke thermistor. Now, as you can see, it moves, all right? When it's cold, it should be in this left position, looking at it from, from this angle, from the head, all right? These things have a habit of rusting sometimes, and they'll get stuck halfway in. What you can do is take the air cleaner cover off and look inside here. As you can see, that butterfly is choked. Here, I'm pushing on the spring right here. All right, so that's opening that up. Now, if you take your air filter off and look in there and that's stuck halfway open like that, that's not gonna wanna start when it's cold. All right, now some of these Briggs & Stratton engines have this thing going in between the muffler and the engine block and it's removable, all right? And that is actually better in my opinion, but this particular one on this newer style engine is made onto the muffler and you have to buy a whole new muffler to replace that part. Now you might be able to go back here, take the muffler off of course, and open up these little fingers. See that finger there, finger there? And that will come apart. And if it's just rusty, you may be able to go in there and clean it, being very careful not to damage that therm you know, thermistor spring in there or you'll ruin it. But it's already ruined, so you got nothing to lose at this point, right? So that's how this works. As the muffler heats up and the engine heats up, this will move, move, move. And what it does is, is it just pushes on this spring to open that up. And if you shut it off, you know, to go walk away and do whatever and then come back to it a couple minutes later, that should stay open so that your lawnmower will start again. You don't need to re-choke it once it's already hot. And as the engine cools down, it does that. Here, let me give you a quick demonstration. I'm just going to hold a torch on here real quick, and I'm going to speed this up, but as you can see, as that heats up, all right, so as you can see, that slowly went over to the right. And then once that cools down, it'll be back over to the left. So that's all that thing is. So check your choke. If your choke is not choked while it's cold, then suspect that and take a look at that. All right. Thanks for watching.